Welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you the basic comparison in between von Neumann architecture and Howard architecture. My dear students, here we are dealing with to understand how these architectures are accessing memory with CPU, right? So you should know, my dear students, when we talk about von Neumann architecture at that time for data as well as for code, you will be having common memory, right? And when we talk about Howard architecture, at the time for data and for code, we have separate memories. So how CPU is accessing data and code with memory, that is what the case which we are dealing with to understand with von Neumann and Howard architecture. Let us see all those things step by step. So here, my dear students, when we talk about one human architecture, then here we have CPU, you can observe. And here we have memory. If you observe for data and for code, we have common memory, right? So you can say that when you provide address by CPU, then that will be common for data as well as code, right? And you should know, my dear students, when we talk about code, that is a program which we are delivered to execute. In that case, you just need to read code from the memory. But when you access data at that time, you may be reading memory as well as you may be writing into the memory, right? So bidirectional data code that is shown over here, right? And when we talk about Howard architecture, at that time, you'll be observing that for data and for code, we have separate memories. So you can observe here, see with this data memory, we are having separate address for code memory. Also, we are having separate address, right? And you see, we are accessing data with bidirectional access, right? And with code, we are just reading data over here and that data will be code. Code means program, right? So with Howard architecture, data memory and code memory are separate, right? And addressing is also separate over here. Now here there are a few essential things that we need to understand and that you can easily understand based on comparison. So here with respect to different parameters, I'll compare von Neumann and Howard architecture. See, as I have told you, for memory access, you should know data and program are stored in same memory with one human architecture and with Howard architecture data and program that is stored with different memories, right? Here, my dear students, when we talk about memory type, then you should know that here with one human data and code memory that is same, right? And here you see code that we are a little bit to read, but data access will be bi-directional. In that we will be reading as well as writing data. So common memory should be RAM only, right? As we need to perform read and write operation with data, this common memory for data and code that will be RAM. With Howard architecture, in data you will be observing bi-directional data access is happening. Why the reason is here we need to read as well as write the data. So for that, you need to have RAM with data memory and for code memory, or you can say for program memory, you just need to read program right inside CPU. So here you will be using only ROM that is read only memory, right? So that is how different memory types will be there. Now, my dear students, when we talk about buses, then you should know for data and code access, you will be having common buses for address and data, right? And here with Howard architecture, we have separate addressing, right? So for data access, addressing is separate. And for code access, we have separate addressing, right? So separate bus will be there for address as well as data with Howard architecture. Now, my dear students, as if you see how program execution is happening, then with one human architecture, here code will get executed serially, right? And here, see, you cannot have parallel execution 
first you will be executing code and as if it is having a requirement of data then data will get read and write from same memory so execution will be serial over here but with Harvard architecture you will be observing execution of code can happen in parallel with data why the reason is we have separate address right my dear students you should know that as if you have any memory in that at a time you can either perform read or write operation right but here with Harvard architecture we have separate memory for data and code so we can have parallel execution with code and data as separate addresses are available for code and data right so you can say when you execute program using one human architecture at that time you will have to take more machine cycles for execution of program but with Harvard architecture you can have parallel access of data and code so in that you will be taking less machine cycles machine cycle means you may be reading the data, you may be writing the data, you may be fetching the opcode of program, right? So these are the machine cycles which may be there with program. So here parallel machine cycle execution is possible. Here, my dear students, when we talk about data code transfer, then you can have data transfer or code transfer with single machine cycle, but with Harvard architecture, data and code transfer that can happen in one machine cycle only right as we have separate addressing with Harvard architecture here when we talk about control signals then obviously you need to have less control signals right as you have common memory over here what are those control signals those control signals are memory read and memory write right and here you will be having more control signals with Harvard architecture as you have data and code memory with separate addresses, right? So for data memory, you will be having a need of memory read as well as memory write control signals. And for code memory, you will be having a need of memory read control signal. So here you will be having a requirement of more control signals with Harvard architecture. Here, if you see the space requirement, then you will be having a less requirement of space with one Newman. Why? The reason is you have single memory for data and code, but with Harvard architecture, data and code memory is different. So in that case, on board, you will have to have more space. Here, if you see what is the cost of this architecture, then obviously with single memory usage, you need to have less cost, but with Harvard architecture, it will be costly. It is not because of memory only. It is because of how we provide addressing, how we integrate our bus interface. So all those things in total makes system costly, right? So you can say Harvard architecture is having better performance compared to one human. Why the reason is Harvard is accessing data and code in parallel while with one human you will have to have execution in serial manner with code and data so Harvard is costly but efficient and one human that is cheap but you will be having slower speed so this is all about comparison of one human and Harvard architecture I hope you have understood this and this type of architecture that you will be frequently observing with microcontroller and microprocessor. Here you will be observing ARM has initiated that architecture with one human initially and later they have shifted towards Harvard architecture. The reason is they wanted to have better performance. So this is all about this session. Still if any query is there just post that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.